Manny Machado is one of the biggest names in the MLB, and one of the reasons is because he does stuff like this. And here we go. He's an amazing fielder. All trickle down the third baseline. Machado barehanded. He clearly knows how to hit. That is driven deep in far to left field. But today, all we care about is <laughs> I want it to like fall perfectly back into my hand. All we care about is his glove. <laughs> but today, all we care about is his glove. Stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to find out how to form your glove just like Manny. Before we dive into his glove, let's actually look at the past gloves that he has used. We're actually going to start way back in high school when he used a TPX from Louisville Slugger. Then skip forward to when he was a rookie and he was actually using a Wilson 1786, which is 11 and a half inches and that makes sense because he was actually playing shortstop in the minor. So then Mr. Machado realizes he needs a bigger glove so he starts using a DW5 A2K. Then I saw an article from What Pros Wear where he was even using a Marucci and it actually looks awesome. My favorite one is when he's using the RV23. This is really cool because he mentioned that he was a big fan of Alex Rodriguez growing up. I even managed to find a picture of him using a Rev 1X, but he probably didn't really like it because he hasn't used it since. Now here at third base, Manny Machado has been using the same glove for the past many years. For the past many years. <laughs> <laughs> but for the past Manny years, he's been using the same brand, same model here at third base. All right, quick side note. Manny Machado uses a Pro NT5-7. What you'll notice is he's using a modified V-Web. This is basically exactly like an iWeb, just a little bit more flash. You guys are saying, But Chris, what is a Pro NT5? One, the glove is much more shallow than usual. Number two, the glove is built for people who have one crease. Instead of having a hinge here and a hinge here, you just have the one, so you're going thumb to index. Three. I don't think I have a third. <laughs> it's kind of cool because Manny Machado uses an NP5, which closes like this. But because he wears his glove two in the pinky, he can close it a lot more easily with two hinges, but he keeps that shallow pocket. I forgot to mention that this is 1175, so 11 and three quarter inches. I went through and found as many pictures and videos as possible to figure out just how he breaks in and forms his glove. One of the first things I noticed was that he always leaves the thumb and pinky loops untied, and he's probably got a habit of pulling on them pretty consistently. He wears his glove two in the pinky, but he still stretches his finger out to use that finger pad. When it comes to the fingers up top, he actually ties them pretty tight. And then there's just the way he shapes the glove overall. He's rolling his ring, middle, and index finger quite a bit, but the thumb and pinky are just straight up and down. In the end, this is your final product. One more side note, you're gonna notice on these NP patterns that they have this weird curve. It's almost a corner in the glove. That's actually what gives it such a shallow pocket. One more thing I'm gonna mention about the way he wears his glove is he doesn't shove his hand in very far at all. It's interesting because Nolan Arenado does the very same thing and they're both really good at third. So I'm wondering, maybe a lot more MLB players do that and I just haven't noticed before. By the way, you guys, huge thanks to stallion.ballgloves on Instagram because he sent this over and even let me break it in. I'm going to be sending it back to him as soon as we're done, but that guy rocks. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did while breaking the glove in to get it just like this. Okay, so if you're still watching the video, it's because you want to know how to break in this glove just like Manny Machado. It's honestly not hard, so this will be quick. The first thing I'm going to talk about is breaking in the thumb, and then I'm going to talk about rolling the fingers and keeping the thumb and pinky straight. Straight. So the NP pattern naturally comes with one hinge like this. So what you need to focus on is breaking in this thumb to have its own hinge as well. It honestly takes quite a lot of work. I personally used a mallet, set the glove down like this and pound it away right here because you need to create your own thumb crease to be able to close just like Machado does. I've had some harder hides come in where they're super easy to break in, super quick, but this is not one of those gloves. This took a little bit of work. This hinge here is already there, so don't even worry about trying to break it in. Only focus on this one for now. Just boom, 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 boom. You can't rush it too much. You just have to use a mallet, a softball, whatever you can find to just smash that thing against the ground to break it in. Another thing you could do is grab each side, squeeze it together a little bit, and then snap up just like this. Honestly, I think pounding away with a mallet or a ball is the better option. Okay, after that, let's say you're able to close your glove now pretty easily. The next step is shaping your glove just like Machado. So he rolls his fingers and he keeps his pinky and thumb straight. Whether you're flaring your glove, rolling the fingers, anything like that, the best thing you can do is just create a habit whenever you're playing catch, taking ground balls. And what I do to roll the fingers is I simply grab like this and just push in like this. Push your thumb into the middle of the fingers just to roll it. Very effective, 
do it whenever you're playing catch, doing downtime, couch catch, whatever it is. And then the thumb and pinky, I actually curl these in just a little bit. It seems like the thumb especially wants to naturally flare out a little bit like this. So I just find myself kind of curling it in every once in a while. And then the last thing to focus on is tightening these fingers. Very simple, you guys. This lace that goes through the top here, this is the one you need to focus on. It's clearly longer because I tightened it. Once you do tighten it, you could really cut it if you really wanted to. If I'm pulling on it pretty much as hard as I can, there's just a little bit of separation. You don't want to make it so there's weird creases in the leather because you're pulling so tight on it. Then of course, you're going to have to pound away and make sure the glove has a solid pocket. This glove actually turned out great. I love it. It's very shallow for a third baseman's mitt, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's all just about preference. And then a small thing, these loops here on the left and right. You're gonna notice when you first untie them, they look all junky because they were tied in a pretty tight knot. But over time, they will straighten out. And if you consistently pull on them like this, you'll probably help encourage them to go straight. But there's not much to it. That's all I really did. Thank you guys for watching the video. The best thing you can do is comment which third baseman we need to look at next. We hit Nolan, we hit Manny, but who's next? What? But for the past many years, <laughs> but for the past many years, he's, <laughs> I can't do it. This is one of the many reasons he likes this glove. I really am just so happy to have so many of you watching my videos. I have many other videos you could watch, so I suggest watching them. There's many more options. <laughs> many of you are not subscribed and you should subscribe. I just got many more subs from saying that. How many more many jokes can I make?